Here's a quick introduction to the new UV editor inside of VRED Pro 2017. In the past, a material such as this leather, we would use a triplanar mapping type. For organic materials, this works great, but as soon as you switch over to something more with a structured pattern, you start to see that blend zone between the two different projections, the front and the top. Now you can edit this. I can try to move this to line it up better so it looks a little better here in the middle. So now I've got it looking good in the middle, but out at the edges we start to see an issue. So the only way to fix this is by UV mapping. This model was out of speed form. So speed form generates NURBS surfaces versus Maya, which would create polygon surfaces. Alias, speed form, the NURB surfaces tend to not come over with any sort of UV mapping. So this is where you have to take it into Maya to do it, but now you can do it right instead of VRED. So for this example, I'm going to use this camouflage texture, just so it shows that blend zone better. And also when I switch this from triplanar to UV, now you see the problem. So this NURBS surfaces, every single one of those, the individual surface patches gets the texture applied to the whole patch. So the UV editor can be found under scene, UV editor. This is what it looks like when you open. Now, there's nothing in there because nothing's been selected. So select a patch or select a object and then go scene, UV editor. And now you'll see that it shows up. Now what we're seeing here is all the patches, and this is where the texture is. If I go show texture, you can see the camouflage texture from zero to one, both directions. Each patch has been stretched out to fit across the, or the coordinates. So what we're gonna do is unfold. So the first thing we do is we hit with selection mode set to select objects. We unfold the whole thing. Now it breaks it up into each one of the individual surfaces. So now we're going to jump over to the next selection mode, which is select islands. And this allows me to pick each one individually. Now I can move them around, but what I'm going to, but the step that I want to do is I'm going to select all of them, and I'm going to hit sew islands, and this welds all the seams between them. Now I can select that island that's been sewn and unfold it, and now it unfolds that whole, all of them together into one unit. So if I turn on my wireframe, you can now see that the camouflage looks good, it fits over the whole part, and there's no strange blend zones. I can show my texture, there's a manipulator, so I can now translate. So if this were a wood grain and I needed to line up my my patch on a specific point of the wood grain, I can also rotate, scale it. And for more advanced functions, there's the ability to um, select actual edges and select vertices. But for now, I just wanted to give you a quick introduction just to the basics. So now let's go back to the texture. So let's put that triplanar on again. The triplanar, we'll see that, that blend zone. And now if I switch over to my the same material but with UV for the mapping type from triplanar to now to UV, and I drag that on there, you now see that it looks, looks good. I no longer get that little blend zone. I can adjust the scale of my repeat here, so maybe make it a little bit bigger repeats to match my triplanar. So now when I do that really close detail rendering of the top of this soft surface, I'm not seeing that transition between the two projections. So it's just a brief introduction on the UV editor. There's more advanced features in the tool, but I just wanted to show you the basics to get you guys started.